Good afternoon and welcome to my little channel. Today, as the title of this video suggests, I will be making three kinds of toasts. One is a mushroom toast, the other one is an avocado toast with an egg on top, and the last one is a plant-based tuna melt. The secret ingredient is chickpeas. Shocker. Okay, so the first toast is a mushroom shallot toast. If you like mushrooms, this will knock your f***ing socks off. So you'll just need a shallot, mushrooms, garlic, and some herbs. First, cut the shallot and garlic. I think you should do it sloppily like I do. I don't know why, but I feel like shallots are kind of magical. I like the way they look, and I like the way they taste. So I'm pulling apart some oyster mushrooms here, but I'm also going to use some shiitake mushrooms as well. So my biggest tip for all of these toasts is to just find a good bread. Because here's my professional opinion. Even if the things you make to go on top of the toast don't come out that great, if the bread is good, you will be satisfied. So it's time to add that ish to a pan. Let it caramelize a little bit with the oil, then add the mushrooms. Oh, I just kicked my my leg. Oh, oh, my leg. So this is the rye bread. It is from Brent's Deli on Parthenia, I believe. So if you are in the LA area, I highly recommend. So you can totally just use a toaster, but I have this griddly thing, so I used that to make the toast. In a perfect world, I would have put butter. Um, I don't have any plant-based butter at the moment. That being said, do keep in mind that I'm going to put some dairy-free cream cheese on the toast. Meow. Hi, Amber. The griddly thing makes the bread have lines, which is like, kind of exciting. So to assemble, you'll just need cream cheese. I am using non-dairy and the stuff from the pan, some lemon juice and salt. I know what you're thinking. There's never been a more appetizing toast. Okay, next up is the super original and never before seen avocado toast. My process for poaching eggs is I guess the same as one you would look up on the internet. So you're first going to put a pot of water on the stove, then prepare the avocado. Do not cut yourself. Blood should not go into this recipe, unless you want it to for some reason. While the toast is toasting, go ahead and create a whirly pool situation. Put the egg right in the middle, turn down the heat and let it poach for three minutes. So to assemble, let's add some vegan mayo, the avocado, the egg, dill, and some tasty za'atar seasoning. And lemon juice too, of course. And that's it. Okay, so I know this looks kind of weird, but it tastes good. Let's start by cutting up some water chestnuts. Then we'll add one half cup of chickpeas and two spoonfuls of mayo to the food processor. Using the vegan mayo because I like that kind, even though I just ate an egg. Then we shall find some Old Bay seasoning and we'll also use some curry powder. This one is from Air Juan. <laughs> I don't know how I got this. Anyway, um, then I'm gonna add some dill and we're gonna mix it. Next, add the mayo to the toast and top it with the mixture. As you can see, I accidentally mixed it too long, but who gives a Top with dairy-free cheese and balsamic glaze, and then we will let it broil. Please enjoy some light entertainment while we wait. Well, would you look at the So, that's the video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I like these recipes because they're really easy to make 
and I think they're pretty tasty, and so does my grandma, and that counts for something. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna tell you to like and subscribe or anything like that because that is a personal choice. I will say that this has been fun. I have lots of recipes, and you will like them. If you don't like them, don't say anything. What are the health benefits? Well, the truth is, now it's good. Today, I'm, oh gosh. I'm not a nutritionist. That's really good. 